this is going to be my updated review for you all and I have my fragrance here which arrived I think maybe two days after purchasing. I received this in no time so I'm going to unbox it with you but in today's video I'm going to leave timestamps for you all so whatever questions you have that you need answering you can just head on over to those chapters and watch because I have quite a lot to say about this fragrance. I ordered this on Sunday or Monday night and then I received it on I think it was Wednesday. So I've been wearing this for about three days now. So these are all the items I received and here I have another sample of the fragrance. It's wrapped obviously with tissues as they always do. They gave me an extra gift here which I think is a red makeup pouch. And then the fragrance is presented in this box here, which I think is this year's theme or colours. So it's like a blooming bouquet of pretty florals. I went on ahead and I ordered the 80ml fragrance because I just felt like it was better value for money and I'll explain why after. And of course, as always, it's wrapped just like this, tissue paper. And inside you have the fragrance, you have a miniature sample and then you've got a little bag full of samples as well. Let's do the samples first. I have a miniature J'adore La, the new version. This one is by Francis Kurt Dijan. Then in my sample bag here I have, what do I have? Oh yes, I did order Oud Ishfahan. Then I ordered this one here which is beautiful. Oh, actually, no, I ordered this one. I ordered the sample of Rouge Dior because they've reformulated their lipstick. And this one is called Nude Look in Velvet 100. And then I ordered, so I guess I have an extra one, Miss Dior Parfum. And I ordered Dior Homme, which is one of the fragrances I do love. Sauvage as well. This is the moisturizer for the face. So I collected those samples also. As you know, I love Dior and always excited and, and happy about the brand. Anything they release, I'm always excited. But this, this is something special, right? Miss Dior Parfum. Super excited to own this fragrance. And I would have blind bought it, truthfully. <laughs> I really would. Let's open this up. So there's my beautiful fragrance here. Miss Dior Parfum, stunning beautiful bottle there of Miss Dior Parfum and as you can see they have kept that look of Miss Dior it's exactly the same you've got the rectangular shaped bottle the hound's tooth going up on the sides and on the base as well you've got that dip in the base of the fragrance and this time now the label is more of a laced fabric rather than a paper or card you have the grey bow on the lid and this time it's only silver it's not multicolored like the other parfum where do i begin with this perfume right here this is a beautiful release by francis kurt dijan this is beautiful because it's a pretty sweet perfume it smells feminine and elegant and somewhat girly as well i'm going to do a true spray now because this is going to be my fragrance of the day. So I'm going out after this. So I'm going to have a good spray. I'll spray three times here. I'm going to do two on my wrist to test. So immediately when I spray this fragrance, I receive a burst of citruses. It smells like sweet, rosy, almost rosy, like a rosy fruit. Um, it smells really sweet. And you receive a burst of mandarin and strawberry. And you know what I noticed? There's a point when, oh gosh, it's so good. <laughs> so nice, so good. Mm, wow, I love it. Okay, so, so this fragrance, once you spray the perfume, you're gonna receive that burst of the citrus. It's mandarin, and you receive a fruity note. It's the strawberry starts to come through immediately. And in a way, after like a few seconds, it smells almost like a rosy floral fruit, a little bit fruity and rosy, but it doesn't smell like a true rose. It's just a sweet floral. And then there's a moment when this perfume changes. 
it turns into oh, this sweet, caramelized, salty, popcorn y confectionery note. So it smells like a sweet, or like not a dessert, but more like a confectionery. And then after that, immediately you receive all the florals. You get the jasmine, there's some violet in here, there's apricot in this perfume. And then it dries down to that patchouli. I received this patchouli, but it's a soft patchouli. Oh, so this, okay, so that's the note right there. And it takes, I didn't time it, but it takes up until this point, you receive a creamy, I want to say like a sweet, buttery note. It's like a caramelized note that's really sweet. Mm, and it's right there. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Perfume quickly dries down and you receive a lot more of the florals. As it develops, you receive a lot of the violet notes. The jasmine is present. And then that patchouli really sets the base for all the florals. This part of the video, I'm just going to tell you my experiences, how it smells on my skin, the longevity, all of that. And then after, I'm going to talk in more detail about this fragrance and I think I might even film a separate video talking about the House of Dior which I normally do as well. Every year I would film a video talking about Dior and where I think the brand is going in terms of Miss Dior and their collection. And Miss Dior Parfum smells sweet and floral at the same time and I believe that strawberry note, I feel the strawberry note really performs in this fragrance. Let's talk about the longevity of this fragrance. Now we're talking about the longevity and not how the perfume smells. This perfume, so I have been wearing this now for the last three, four days. And I have to say that the longevity is not great. And I'm so sad to say that, but in my experience, this is not great for its performance. You can receive anything between two to five hours and if you're lucky you can get six hours but this could be the perfumes dating from 2017 but the fragrances we have today the longevity is not great so I wore this fragrance and after six hours I can still smell it I would say between five to six hours I can smell it on my skin but to do so I would have to raise my skin to smell the perfume and um, when I do spray this fragrance, I do receive a scent bubble and I can enjoy the fragrance, but I have to say, not for very long. I would say under two hours, I can just about smell it and it fades really quickly. So I've been wearing the sample, which I actually found the sample to be quite dense and concentrated, but that could just be me. It could be my imagination. So I had very high expectations for the performance of this perfume. But as I sprayed it, I was really disappointed in the sense that it does not last. In terms of this perfume radiating around your skin, around you, I would say it's very close to the skin. You have a very light scent bubble. So I'm going to get into so much more details, but I want to keep this part of the video short and concise for those of you who are looking for specific questions because I have some questions that I'm going to answer in this video as well. And um, <laughs> I'm gonna do that at the end for you guys. Going to receive, I would say on average, so far from what I've been experiencing in the few days I've been wearing this, I would honestly say less than three hours, but you will still smell it on your skin after five to six hours. And maybe for you, it might work better on your skin. I've tried this on my clothes. I have tried this on my direct skin and I'm getting around three hours. So I'm actually going out this evening and I'm going to spray this perfume <laughs> and over spray and I'm just going to see what the reactions are around me to see whether it's complimented, if it gets noticed and if it doesn't get noticed I'm going to ask um, if people can smell me, what can they detect, what notes, I'm going to do that because I want to update you guys and I want to see how it's performing from others' um, nose and their interpretations of the fragrance. So I'm going to summarize this for you now. This perfume is beautiful. The way in which it's created, I think it's blended really nicely in terms of its notes and how it smells. It opens up with a burst of strawberry 
and mandarin. It's not very sharp, but it's like a warm, sharp orange note comes through, mixed with sweet berries, and it's mixed with florals. Then it dries down into the florals, and then you receive this, in a few seconds, you receive this creamy, buttery sweetness. It smells like fluffy, and I just love, that's the part I love. It's still there now. It's creamy, sweet, almost like a vanilla. It's like a sweet confectionery and then it turns into lots of jasmine and the lighter florals, but the patchouli you will smell, and it's a pretty patchouli. The patchouli in the parfum is nothing like the patchouli from the predecessors. This is a softer patchouli, and I think the blend of the woods in this fragrance as well helps to balance that strawberry sweetness and the floral heart, and you've got that base of patchouli and cedar in this fragrance. Those are my views on this perfume. Any more questions just drop me a comment down below. Okay so now we're going to answer the questions you've been wanting to hear. So this is the question right? Does Miss Dior Parfum smell like Miss Dior Cherie? I would say that it smells close to Miss Dior Cherie in the sense that it uses the note of strawberry. It has a sweet strawberry opening and then it has this creamy sweetness in the heart and then you have that patchouli base. So in that sense, it's very similar, but it doesn't smell. If you were to smell this, it's not going to be a remake of Miss Dior Cherie. It's not a dupe of Miss Dior Cherie. When you look at the Miss Dior perfumes on a whole and you look at the direction they are moving towards, it's picking up those notes of Miss Dior Cherie that has not been used in over 10 years in the house of Dior. This opens up with strawberry. This opens up with strawberry. And they both have that jasmine violety base, and then you have the patchouli. The difference is your Miss Dior Cherie. You had musk and amber in the base as well. So they are very different. But it does smell, it's moving in that direction. Does Miss Dior Parfum smell like Miss Dior Eau de Parfum? And they share similar notes and style, but this one, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, is powdery, it's iris, it's creamy, it's tonka bean. And this one here is your strawberry mandarin, and it sits on the base of patchouli, and you have a jasmine heart. So they are fairly similar. I think if you like one, you're definitely going to like the other. And if you're looking for a perfume that is less powdery, then I would go for the Parfum version. And if you like that iris, sweet, creamy florals, then I would go for the original or the Parfum. I've got my phone here. I have a question here by Chelsea9009. It says, what notes do you think are making that popcorn note that you were smelling? So for me, I feel like it's a combination of the strawberries, the sweetness of the strawberry, then this is mixed with some jasmine as well. But then you pick up this buttery note. Let's smell it now. Oh, it's like a creamy, buttery sweetness. I want to say salty, but it's not extremely salty. So I just feel like it's the way in which the perfume is blended, you've got the fruity notes, you've got jasmine, you've got violet, and perhaps that powdery mix from the violet, mix of the strawberry, gives off that confectionery that I'm picking up, something very sweet and creamy, and you can really smell it. It stays in your skin for a while. But one thing I have noticed is when this perfume develops, I pick up this mineral note, and it smells a bit, it smells earthy, and then it also reminds me of being at the beach. There's something that is like a mineral, metallic, and then, beachy at the same time. I can't really describe it. And it's right there. And I don't know, it could actually be, let me just check the notes. I think, I think it could be, ah, oh, perhaps it's the moss because there's moss in here as well. So maybe it's the moss that I'm picking up. So I'm getting maybe like a salty note from the moss or a green salty note from that note in particular. I'm not too sure. And maybe that mix of strawberry creates like this buttery scent and the popcorn note I'm getting reminds me of, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a honey butter. So you have something creamy, buttery, a little bit salty with honey. That's what I'm picking up. So it's like a sweetness like that. And I think that's what's creating. I think it's really all because of the strawberry. 
<laughs> okay, next question I'm going to read. Okay, so this person says, it is not in the US yet. I appreciate if you can let me know if I can mix the new one, which is the Parfum, with the other Parfum. The other Parfum is too powdery. Yes, exactly. And so I'm looking to mix the two together, which I think you can do. I might even demonstrate quickly here, which hand is free. Um, I'm going to mix, oh, that's the Cherie. This is the Parfum. So if I put it on this hand, I'll blend the two now. So I'm gonna do two sprays of the Parfum. One, two. And then I'm going to do two sprays of the Eau de Parfum. Oops, one, two, I think I missed a little there. So I'm gonna mix those two together. Ooh, that's really good. I think this is a perfume to blend actually. This is really nice because I'm receiving a lot of the mandarin and some floral notes, but the iris and the tonka bean is making this even sweeter. Oh my gosh. That's actually a good mix. I would actually do that, so yes. You can mix the two. It's even sweeter now because now you have the notes of the tonka bean, the vanilla in addition to the parfum, but it may be a little bit powdery. I mean, give it a go and see, try it in store. So the next question I have is, okay, this one is really good. Fervo5167 says, I was excited, but it's so bad in longevity and sillage, more like an EDT. And I would say yes, but I'm gonna come on to that um, after. Someone asked me, what is the packaging difference between the old and the new? I'm gonna come back to that and find the box for you so I can share that one. And then this one says, anyone have the scoop on when it's available in the US? I actually don't know. The sales associate did say that it was exclusive to the UK for its launch. And then after that, I'm not sure, but next time I'm in store, I will definitely ask for you guys and I'll just leave all the um, information I find out on my community page so you guys can have access to that. Oh, one lovely lady here, Nuria Medina 9156 says, wait, what, Mr. Your Cherie? I can't believe this. What great news, my heart is beating so fast. Francis Cook, Dijan, Herdal, please. <laughs> now this is something I want to talk about. I feel like when I first tried this perfume, remember I had a one mil sample. I tried it on my skin and I shared my reactions with you guys. When I tried that sample, immediately it took me straight back to Mr. Yoshiri. It was that patchouli, it was the strawberry notes, and it was, like I said, it was like this honey buttery note in there, very creamy and fluffy, like a popcorn, that texture. That's what I was picking up. What I find really interesting about Miss Dior Cherie, and this is the Eau de Parfum version, 2005, is that Christian Dior has not used those specific notes in a fragrance for more than 10 years, way more than 10 years. Now, I just find that really interesting because Dior has always focused their perfumes on rose and patchouli usually and then you have this beautiful fragrance that's been Miss Dior <laughs> reformulated like every two minutes and this is the first time they've brought back that strawberry note the only fragrance that comes close to using berries would be this one here and this is absolutely blooming and Miss Dior Parfum does not smell anything like absolutely blooming absolutely blooming is your more fruity based perfume with rose and peony and some musk and the fruits you would have in this perfume is pomegranate black currant raspberry and I think I'm missing something else um, but this perfume doesn't smell anything like strawberry. Those are the only berries in this fragrance. In my opinion, I feel like Francis Kurt Dijan is testing the waters. I feel like he wants to see how we react to this perfume. I think they want to monitor the sales of this perfume. This could just be a tester, guys. So hold on. You just never know what Dior has in store, as always. In Miss Dior Parfum, they brought back strawberry they brought back the patchouli there's a violet in this perfume there's jasmine as well but there's no rose and in misty or cherie you had that strawberry with all the fruits the cherry the pineapple and then you had the heart of amber musk and what else did we have amber musk and patchouli 
So this could just be Francis Cote de Jean testing the waters, seeing our reaction, wanting to see what he can do with the fragrance. And who knows, I feel like if he's moving in this direction, because there's no true surprises here because this does still smell very similar to our Eau de Parfum. It's not far off, they're very similar perfumes. This is powdery, this is sweet, you have that strawberry note in here. So they're very similar, similar style in a sense. So I was really shocked and pleased that they didn't give us something that smelled outrageous. <laughs> they do still smell like the same family. So that was a nice surprise. So if you like one, you're going to like the other. I think if we monitor the moves of the House of Dior and Francis Cote de Jean, it looks like he may surprise us, but I think we just need to wait and see what he does. I'm really hopeful because I feel like he is listening to what we want. I think he's trying to create fragrances that are easy to wear, but are modern. I also think he's trying to head away from fragrances that are so 90s. He's trying to create a new style of perfume. I don't know guys, it's a tough one. But I'm gonna be wearing this perfume today. I'm going to monitor the reactions of others, ask some questions and test them after four hours, see if they can still smell me. Because for me, I can't smell anything around me in my scent bubble after three hours, but on my skin, I can just about smell something in about five to six hours time. And um, so that's my thoughts on longevity. Another thing I'd like to talk about in this perfume is you do receive a smaller bottle. This is an 80 ml bottle. And I have to say, this was quite pricey. I paid £140 for 80 ml, which is 2.7 ounces. So much smaller, but you're paying a higher price for a parfum. And in my experience, whenever I bought a parfum, they were always available in a smaller bottle. But I guess the thoughts behind that is it's so strong, you only need a little bit. You wouldn't need 100 ml. 80 ml is going to serve you well. You just need a few sprays of this perfume. But that's not the case. And I did a wear test last night and I tried the two together and I would say that my Eau de Parfum was lasting longer than the Parfum. So that's left me a little bit confused why the Parfum isn't as strong. So that's just something I wanted to share with you guys as well. So, <laughs> I'm really interested to know what are your thoughts? Have you had the chance to try this fragrance as yet? If you have, leave me a comment down below and tell me what was your first thoughts, your first reactions, I'd love to know, and what do you think of the perfume? I think it's a pretty release. If we're just basing this on the scent, I think it's well blended. I think it's a beautiful perfume. But in my conclusion, I would say this fragrance smells really pretty. It's feminine, easy daytime wear. You can easily make this your date night scent. You can wear it for Valentine's Day. It's romantic, it's strawberries and flowers. It's really pretty, but the longevity isn't there. The sillage, I couldn't really tell you for now. I, I don't feel like it's a powerful perfume, but it's very beautiful. That mossy patchouli and it's sweet and floral. It's not an obvious strawberry smell, it's more like a delicate strawberry sweet. That buttery note, I would say that's gone now but I'm left with the sweetness and a little bit of the salty notes and I think that could be the moss or maybe a combination of moss and cedar. I am going to be wearing it more and sharing my updates with you. So if you have any more questions, leave me a comment down below so that I can include it in my next video. I love reading your comments. I just sit there and I go through all your comments and I try to incorporate that in my next video as well. So if you want me to answer anything or test anything out for you, then I will. Here I did the layering combo. I'm going to smell it for you now. Oh wow, it's really pretty. It does still smell a little bit more like the iris, the iris that you pick up, iris apricot. But I think it's less powdery. I think actually, I think if you mix the two together, I think the parfum tones down that powdery note. That's what I'm getting. Let me just double check again. It's less powdery. Ooh. Mm. It's so nice. I really do like it. I think it's a beautiful perfume. I recommend this fragrance if you love Miss Dior and the house of Miss Dior. If you're used to Miss Dior, 
and you're used to its longevity, especially the 2017 versions and also the Blooming Bouquet because I wear this one a lot in the winter. I think this smells amazing actually during the winter time. It's really strong. This smells, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Honestly, the power of absolutely blooming they're just really different. I recommend trying out this fragrance, see how it works on your skin. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. I feel like let's just wait and see because maybe Francis Kurt Dijon is going to bring out a new perfume. Hopefully, I need to be clear on this because sometimes when I'm saying something on the video, it's like I have some you know, like Francis is sitting in front of me telling me what to say. He's not. <laughs> um, I just want to be clear on this. This is not Miss Dioshri, the remake or the dupe, but it does remind me of that style. It does remind me a lot. That's why I like it so much. Now I feel like I'm jumping because I have so much to say, which is why I'm going to film another video. I think I've been filming for a long time now. I do feel like, I feel like give him some time. He's still fairly new to the brand, guys. Give him some time and he might be surprising us. But I have to say, the last eight months, I would say, six to eight months, the dual counter has been looking rather bare, like there's nothing on the counter anymore. That's usually an indication that they're going to release something new. And also it's an indication that they may be changing up and making space for something new. But this is just me, you know, just monitoring and, um, you know, looking into things a little bit more deeply. But I think... That they could be releasing something for us maybe not this year i really do hope it's this year um, but i think something else may be brewing at the house of dior but this was my honest review my reactions my thoughts of this perfume i want to share everything that i experienced personally on my skin my dna with you guys to help you make a more informed opinion about purchasing but definitely do try because I think you're going to love it. If you loved any Misty Oil, you're going to love this one. But it does remind me of the Eau de Parfum. Now I want to talk about how I really feel about this because it's a personal subjective opinion and I love it. I'm going to take it with me this evening. I'm going to overspray before I leave my house and I'm just going to enjoy the fragrance as well. So that's my views on this. I hope this is helpful. So this is only part one. I'm going to be filming another video talking more about the Miss Dior perfume because I had no idea about this release guys and this has interrupted my lineup of series of videos I had coming up for you guys for the beginning of February but the way in which this has been incorporated this new perfume this new launch I think it's really fun and I think that's why I'm so excited it's just like what like what's going on so I have this to talk about plus the other videos I have lined up for you so I hope you enjoy that as well so yes, my darlings, do I love this? Absolutely yes, nothing has changed. It's just the longevity issues for me. <laughs> and I hope that helps you. I will leave any links down below to help you find this fragrance. If you are from America, I'm going to try and update you guys as soon. I'm going out tomorrow, I'll head to Dior and I will find out and I'll leave you a message. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if it's a love or a dislike for you. I'm curious to know and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day, bye.